going to be taking advantage of cranberry season. We're going to make a delicious uh, crumble bar out of it. It's cranberry crumble bars. It's pretty simple. Um, basically, we're going to be making a crumble kind of like what you do with like apple crisp and things like that. But we're going to have cranberries in there and orange zest. It's really fresh and great dessert for the holiday season. So let's get right to it. So first things first, I'm going to get my pan ready, my baking pan. My oven is preheating to 350. I want to put uh, parchment paper, line my, it just makes it easier. You don't have to do this. It just makes it easier to line your baking dish with parchment paper. And to make that parchment paper stick, just spray your pan with a little bit of spray and then that will help stick the paper just like that. All right. Okay, so now that's ready. I'm gonna go to my dry ingredients for my crumble. So what I'm gonna do first is add my flour and then sugar. And then I'm going to add cinnamon, uh, baking powder and salt. And then I'm gonna use the best uh, sifter I have in my kitchen and that is a whisk. Um, I don't usually like to use a sifter. They're just not something I use, but a whisk does the same thing, it's perfect. So go ahead and whisk that all together. Once it's together, um, normally when you make a crumble, you have to have cold butter that you're gonna add to it. And then you would take your butter that's cold and just cut it into little cubes. But a better thing to do is to run it through a grater, like a cheese grater. Um, that way your butter's already at the size that it needs to be. It just makes it for a lot easier. So I'll get this grated real quick. Okay, now that I've got my butter grated, then I'm just gonna work it into the flour mixture with my hands until it starts to form like small uh, like little pea shape size. So just mix it with your fingers is the best way to do this until you get that consistency of small peas. Takes just a couple of minutes. Okay, now that you've got the butter incorporated and there's just the small little pea sized balls in there, I'm gonna add my wet ingredients and then mix it. So what I'm gonna do is add an egg and then some milk and then vanilla. And then once I've got that in there, then I'm gonna use my hand mixer to kind of bring it together. This time we wanna bring it together to where it's almost like wet sand. So it's gonna take like a one or two minute with your hand mixer to get to that point. Okay, once we get the consistency of wet sand, then we're ready to go. What I'm gonna do now is take two cups of this. We're gonna reserve for topping. So some of this is gonna be for the crust on bottom. Some of it's gonna be for the crust on top. So I'm gonna take two cups out and then pour the rest of that into my baking dish. And then once it's in there, then I'm just gonna use my hands just to press it down. And then this is gonna be the crust on the bottom. Works out pretty good. And the, if you can do the parchment paper, I would say do it, because it just makes the process so much easier. Uh, in the next segment, when I show you the fi finished product, you'll see just how easy it is. So let's see, I've got my crust done. In the next segment, we're gonna work on the cranberry filling in the top and get in the oven. We'll see you back in just a few.